In this video, we continue our discussion of state variable regulator design, where our aim is to design the state feedback gain to place the closed loop poles of the system in desired locations. We have already seen that if the plant model is given in the control canonical form, then we can easily find values for the state feedback gain vector to produce any desired closed loop characteristic equation. This means that we can place the closed loop poles of a system anywhere if the plant is in control canonical form. If the plant is not in control canonical form, then it's not yet clear whether we can place the closed loop poles anywhere. In today's video, we look at the conditions under which we can do this. The main problem we look at today is this. If the plant is not given in the control canonical form, then under which conditions can we design the state feedback gain to place the closed loop poles in any location? We will only look at the argument of the proof and we do not prove each step of the argument in this video. The idea of the proof is this. We first establish that if the plant model can be converted to the control canonical form, we can place the closed loop poles anywhere. And we then look at the conditions under which this conversion is possible. We start the argument by assuming that there is an invertible transformation matrix P that would transform the plant model to control canonical form using the transformation x equal to P times x bar. If this assumption holds, then we can design a state feedback gain vector K bar to place the poles of the transformed system in any location. The plant input U is then calculated according to the control law as minus k bar times x bar which we can write in terms of the original state vector using the transformation equation. The state feedback gain for the original plant is then k bar times p inverse. Since the inputs to both the original and the transform plant model are equivalent the behavior of both regulators will be the same and the poles of, the, of both systems will be in the same locations. We can therefore conclude that if an invertible transformation matrix P exists that would transform the plant to the control canonical form, we can place the closed loop poles anywhere. It is possible to prove that such a transformation matrix P exists if and only if the plant is controllable. We do not prove this step in the video. Refer to the textbook for its proof. Putting everything together, we can conclude that if the plant is controllable, then we can place the closed loop poles anywhere. Although it is theoretically possible to place the closed loop poles in arbitrary locations for a controllable plant, it is not entirely possible for practical systems. On this page, we discuss some of the aspects of pole placement for practical systems. An important thing to realize is that we implicitly made the assumption that the plant input U is unconstrained when we looked at the conditions for arbitrary pole placement. The plant input for practical systems is always constrained, and if the calculated plant input exceeds the constraints, the model will not behave as we expect anymore. We can therefore practically only place the closed loop poles in locations for which the plant input would not saturate. With this in mind, let's look at two guidelines for closed loop pole placement. Firstly, to place the closed loop poles far away from the open loop poles usually requires a large feedback gain K. This means that the plant input might be large, which might cause it to saturate. It is therefore desirable to place the closed loop poles not too far away from the open loop poles. Secondly, for plants that are almost not controllable or weakly controllable, the state feedback gain K might be large in order to exert any control over the system. This could cause a large plant input which might cause it to saturate. For such systems, it is therefore especially important to carefully choose the closed loop pole locations while thoroughly analyzing the input signal for scenarios one would expect to encounter in practice. If possible, it might also be beneficial to change the physical plant in order to make it more controllable.